in Skull and Bones, you have multiple leveling systems, including your infamy rank and your ship rank. And in this video, we're going through exactly how to like understand your ship rank, how to level it up. And this is based on a few different things. So the first thing is the base rank of the ship that you are sailing. For an example, the Badar, the Rammer, is going to be a rank 1 base. The Sentinel is a rank 2. And then when you make it far enough and you start getting the medium ships, the Bombardier starts at rank 5. And then when you are at an outpost, if you hold down B on an Xbox controller, it basically brings up your management. So you can set sail, you can fast travel, you can manage your ship and your cargo and things like that. And if you go into the Manage Ship menu, when you are in there, you are going to see different categories. And and the furniture, the armor, and the weapons are all going to increase your ship rank. So for an example, if I have the rammer, the badar, it starts at rank 1. If I have enough weapons and furniture on it to bring it up to rank 4, then just by unlocking and using the bombardier, that's automatically a higher rank because it starts at rank 5. So what you want to do is you want to craft a ship that's as high a rank as you can possibly get it. And then what you want to do is focus on your weapons. So finding the blueprints and getting the resources or the materials. Then using the blacksmith to craft the weapons and equipping them to your ship. Then you want to focus on your armor. The higher rarity for your armor, the stronger it is, the more it's going to benefit your ship rank. And then also with your furniture as well. And the bigger the ship, the more slots you're going to have for weapons and for furniture. So for an example, on the Badar, the Rammer, you have enough slots for one bit of armor, three weapons, and two pieces of furniture. Then on bigger ships, you may have four slots for weapons, you may have four or five slots for furniture, and the higher the rarity, the more it's going to increase your level. When you are in the Manage Ship, menu say you click on your weapons and you click on the slot at the very front if you look at the bottom right of the screen as you are flicking through the different weapons available you're going to see the benefit to your rank so it will have like a little bit of red on the bar if you're going to like if you switch to that weapon you're going to lose a bit of your rank and then if you're going to increase your rank a little bit there will be a tiny bit of green on that white bar so it's all about your ship based on its base rank it's all about your weapons your armor and your furniture so acquiring blueprints finding the materials to craft the weapons and everything like that is the fastest way to level up your ship rank in skull and bones and what we're going to do is leave that video there let me know your thoughts and stuff about the different ships available in skull and bones in the comments i will see you guys in the next one i hope you enjoyed it i hope it helped you out thank you for watching